In Isaiah 58, we see what true fasting and genuine faith looks like in the eyes of God. In this chapter, we find a stirring call to live out our faith through actions that reflect God's heart, especially towards those in need. The chapter opens with God addressing the emptiness of ritual without honesty, reverence, and a right attitude and heart. It says in Isaiah 58 verse 3, We have fasted before you, they say. Why aren't you impressed? We have been very hard on ourselves, and you don't even notice it. I'll tell you why, I respond. It's because you are fasting to please yourselves. Even while you fast, you keep oppressing your workers. God is calling out the disconnect between religious observance and daily living that lacks compassion and integrity. It's a great reminder that our worship isn't just about personal devotion, but also about exemplifying and mirroring God's love and justice in the world. And then in verse six, the Lord defines true fasting. It says, no, this is the kind of fasting I want. Free those who are wrongly imprisoned. Lighten the burden of those who work for you. Let the oppressed go free and remove the chains that bind people. This isn't just about abstaining from food. It's a call to break the chains of injustice, to share our food with the hungry, to provide for the homeless, and to clothe the naked. Jesus teaches us this truth again in Matthew 25, where he talks about serving him by serving others, feeding the hungry, welcoming strangers, caring for the sick, and visiting prisoners. Isaiah 58 challenges us to examine our hearts and our actions. Are we living out our faith in a way that extends God's love to those in need? We need to embrace this call to authentic, compassionate living. Because when we do, we discover what truly pleases God is a life that shines His light into the darkest corners of our world.